Hi guys, Gareth the Video Tribe here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how we do our YouTube keyword research in a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now, you may think that just using a tool like vidIQ or TubeBuddy will be more than enough for you to be able to rank your videos in the top spots and grow your channel, but we have realized that actually vidIQ and TubeBuddy only really are about 50 to 60% effective when it comes to keyword research. So this means that if you're recording two videos each and every week, then there's a good chance that one of those videos is going to underperform. So you really wanna make sure that you're bringing up that average. So in order to do this, we like to use two tools. We like to use vidIQ above TubeBuddy. I'll explain to you why in just a moment. And another tool called Morning Fame. We use vidIQ for the keyword research, the fast part, at the beginning, finding those golden nuggets and ideas, and then driving down into if we can actually rank, how we can rank, and what we need to do for optimization using Morning Fame. Now, I will put links below this video as long, along with more training, if you would like more in-depth training to go along with that as well, as well as how to do all the optimization and everything else. Now, I believe Morning Fame has a free trial, and you will only need the pro account for vidIQ, which is about $7.50 per month. Now, the reason we want to use the pro account is because you want the keyword research tool inside of vidIQ. So the steps that we're going to be going through in this training are that we want to search, that we then want to validate, and then we want to optimize our videos for maximum results. With that said, let's jump on my computer and get started. So step one is that we want to go into vidIQ. We want to go into the keyword tool at the top here. As I said, you will need the pro account in order for this to be able to use this part and this tool right here. And that is basically going to let us search for the general search term that we have. Now, assuming that you have linked your channel to both Morning Fame and vidIQ, what you're going to be able to do is just put it in your video idea here or your general keyword and then click search. That will then bring up dozens, if not hundreds of different video keyword ideas linked to that general search term that you put in. Now, if we were using the likes of TubeBuddy, it would give me a half a dozen to a dozen keyword ideas, and it wouldn't tell me the volume. Now, if you're anything like me, then I'm a very visual numbers person. I like to be able to see how many people are searching for that each and every month. And that is exactly what vidIQ does. It shows me how many people for that search term are searching each and every month. Now, you might have three similar search terms here, and they may be having very different uh, levels of volume. Take TubeBuddy versus vidIQ here, or vidIQ versus TubeBuddy. Basically the same search term, but look at the difference in volume of monthly searches. Over 80,000, almost double for vidIQ versus TubeBuddy, versus TubeBuddy versus vidIQ. So just finding simple tweaks and changes means you can probably target far more valuable keyword search terms to rank your video. The next thing that you want to do is you want to come up to the competition level, and I like to set this to very low first. So make sure you're seeing either nothing and then very low here, because if you've linked this to your channel, the very low one, the very low competition I keyword ideas are going to be the ones that you're more likely to be able to rank for. Now, step two will be going through these very low competition keyword ideas to find keywords that are similar to the original video idea or keyword search term that we put in. So for here, it was YouTube keyword research. So I want to come down and I want to find video ideas that are going to be relevant or similar to that, perhaps because I have a particular video idea that I want to create. Now, I could come down here. I see a very low one. I see some with some big volume here. So maybe I want to select this. I want to highlight this. I'll just deselect the other video here. So I'm going to get in that one and copy it. And then I want to come across to Morning Fame. Now, typically, if I was just using vidIQ or TubeBuddy, this says very low. TubeBuddy might say excellent, good opportunity to rank. And you would assume that that would mean that you could actually automatically rank those videos if you created a video on that subject. But this is just not true. As I said, about 50 to 60% of the time, it's going to be right, and the other 40 to 50% of the time, it's going to be wrong. So we come across to Morning Fame, and we come to the search bar here. And what I wanna do is just paste in the keyword search term here, and then what's gonna pop up is a number of different letters here from 
D's, A's, all the way down to F's. And this is basically a ranking based on your channel and the competition. And what this shows us is based on the competition, their channels, their videos, their results, their engagement, and that of our channel, it tells us exactly whether we can rank for that keyword. Now, as we well know, that keyword in here, very low competition, I should easily be able to rank. In Morning Fame, as I don't have Ds across the board, which is really what you want to be going for, I've actually got a D, a C, and two Es. Anything red, not a good sign. So therefore, although vidIQ and also probably TubeBuddy for the same keyword are saying, yes, you should be able to rank, Morning Fame is saying, no, you probably will not. Maybe in the top 20 with this, but definitely not in the top 10. So I wanna be looking for a different keyword search term. Now I can then go into suggestions here and see what different drop downs show. Or I could go back to vidIQ and I could keep looking at the very low ideas and seeing if there's something else that is similar. So I could keep looking for different ideas and pasting them back into Morning Fame. So let's go back and pick another one. Perhaps we want to go for YouTube SEO. Let's go for keyword research tutorial. Let's just go for this top one here. It doesn't have anything particular, but we'll come back across to Morning Fame. I just paste that in there and try again. Okay, so again, not really seeing much of a result there. Very similar again. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna see if we can find some different ideas. Again, this is all E, so I'm definitely not gonna be able to rank for that. So let's see if we can find something else. So let's go and see if I can go find one of my favorites for the sake of this video to speed things along. But I would recommend that you keep taking your very low ones, bringing them across, and then checking suggested ideas and seeing if there's anything else. But for the sake of this, I'm gonna go into my favorites as I have probably already saved a similar video. There we go, how to do keyword research on YouTube 2021. And I know this one has all Ds. Now you can just hit this little love button, which will add it to your favorite. So each and every time, maybe you found a few different keyword ideas and you wanna save them. I would just add them to that. So once I find one that has a good level above nine here, it's got least Ds all the way across the board, then I'm happy to potentially move on. But in step three, before we move on to doing the video optimization, we want to make sure that we look at the competition to make sure that there's not anything strange going on that might be inhibiting the results. So if we scroll down, something we want to look at is we always want to see how many views these people are getting for the age of the video in relation to the number of subscribers they have. So for example, this person has 79,000 subscribers, but less than 6,000 views on this video in a three month period. Now that suggests that we don't know if those views are coming from his subscribers or if people are finding it from search. Going down, you're seeing a trend of lots of big channels with fewer, fewer views on that video. So what does this say to us? This would potentially, if we went all the way down and found no alternatives here, this would potentially tell me that all of the traffic is really coming from their subscribers and probably not search. So maybe there's not the view volume that I would hope for that's going to be coming through for that search term, even though people maybe are searching for that. But typically we've already done our research and that would probably be right. And as I come down, I can see that the gateway video, which is the one we're most likely to knock off if we do create a video, is only got 187 subscribers and they've got over 600 views, which shows me that they're getting a lot more search volume to the number of subscribers, which is a good sign. I would feel even more comfortable if there was a couple more examples. This person doesn't have any subscribers showing, so potentially they're hiding them because they don't have many subscribers. So that might be another good one as well to actually get there. You would also want to look at the number of views that they've had for the duration. So if there was a number of years had passed and they only had a small number of views, maybe you would want to see what they did wrong in that video. Once you're happy with that and you don't see anything funny going on, you would want to check out the top three videos, watch them, see the ones with the most comments, likes, views, and engagement and understand what they did most, what people liked the most, and then create your video content idea around those videos. So once you've checked out the competition in step four, we want to move on to optimization by clicking this part here, choose step four, move on to optimization. 
Now, this is where morning fame really comes into its own, because morning fame will take us by the hand and show us exactly what we need to do to be able to optimize our video. And if you don't know what search engine optimization is, search engine optimization is op just literally optimizing for search engines like YouTube and also Google as well. Now, if there was two checks here, two green checks here, and we had this setting turned on in Morning Fame, then that would mean that people were searching for this on YouTube and on Google, which means if I optimize for Google as well, and we will go into more detail and training on this, I will put links in the description again to additional training where you can get about more advanced optimization for both Google as well as just YouTube. But this has just got one check, so it's just focusing on YouTube itself. So what we want to do is make sure that the title is correct and it has the keyword that we've got in it. Maybe we want to put a secondary keyword in here or something eye-catching. That would be perhaps uh, a number. We could, yeah, we've already got 2021 here, but maybe I want to put something in brackets to get people to, to click through. And so I could say not tube buddy. So I could do something like that that's going to get humans to click on it. Now, remember, you need to make sure that you make sure that your title and your thumbnail are highly clickable. Lots of people try to avoid putting on thumbnails or they don't make them eye-catching enough because they think this is clickbait and they don't want to fall into that sort of spammy trap. Well, I'm afraid this is BS. You have to win the race when it comes to creating eye-catching thumbnails. They don't need to be clickbaity or misleading, but you really do want to draw people's attention with the title and also the thumbnail because if people don't click through, no one's ever going to watch it. YouTube will think your video is not so good and it won't share it out there and you won't get any suggested traffic and eventually you will move down the rankings in search as well because no one's clicking on your video. So come down, you then want to paste the keyword here as well and you want to look at the description that the competition did also on Google and YouTube and try to take your main tags here that you're going to be using and creating a description with those in it. So your main top tag, so your main keyword and a couple of the top tags, write content that contains them. Try to write as much content as possible that's relevant. Make sure it's for humans and not robots and put any relevant links in there as well. Your description will help you get more ranking in YouTube, but especially in Google. If you type on this highlights, then it will highlight here all the different tags and relevant similar keywords Remember, it's a bit like going into a burger shop. YouTube expects to see certain things with that keyword. So if I go into a burger shop, I expect to see Coca-Cola and French fries being sold as well as burgers. It's typically something I expect to see. Whereas with this keyword, YouTube might expect to see other types of keyword. So if I was talking about Windows operating system, it might expect to see words like Bill Gates, PC, and other types of words that are similar that actually work with that description. So if that's too complicated, don't worry too much about that. Just fill this out for humans. That's the easiest way about that. And we can go into more depth in optimization and additional videos. Make sure you're getting the 20% margin here. It normally automatically does it when you put the keyword in the top. Move down to your tags. Remember, you're allowed up to 500 characters. I can see here, I've already got most of them in here. But what I would recommend is, yes, the automatic ones that they put in here are probably very good. But if anything isn't relevant to your video and the topic of that video, I recommend that you remove them and then find some new suggestions here. Look for the ones that are highlighted in yellow and have higher rankings. And if it's relevant, I can say, yes, this one is relevant. I'll pop that in as well. And I'm now up to 40. So use this suggestion tool or type some new ones in here that are relevant to you and make sure that you don't go above the 500 character mark. So I could go, that's not relevant to me. Maybe I don't want this one either. Not too relevant and not so good. So you would actually go through that in detail and make sure you're using as many tags as possible. You really want to get as close to the 500 characters as possible to bring up this relevancy here. Then come down and create your thumbnail to stand out from the main ones that they're showing here. 
it will also then show you what it looks like on different devices. Now we've created different videos showing you exactly how to create clickable thumbnails. I would follow those in detail, make sure they're eye catching and that they are, they are standing out and make sure after you've uploaded your video, you put a pinned comment linking to another video or linking to something that you're promoting inside that video as well. Now that's about all you need to be doing to get started with your keyword research and basic SEO. If you got value out of that video, please hit, hit the like button as that helps grow our channel. And otherwise I look forward to seeing you inside the next training video. Any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.